Lucy? Um, only person that I filed the complaint with is uh, the Five Guys corporate office. And then I have that the address for the Five Guys is 1229 South Power Road, Suite 110, uh, Mesa, Arizona, 85206. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And do you have the contact information of a friend or a relative that we can reach out to in case we lose touch with you? Yeah, you can reach out to my mom. Okay. So, and what is her name? Deborah Walker. Okay. And what is her phone number? Uh, hold on a second. I'm African American, black. Okay. And do you identify as male or female? Male. Okay. And you believe that the discrimination is on the basis of race, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. And then I have that the date of harm was on June 24th of this year? Yeah, that's correct. I think you're the person that conducted my last intake interview. Yes, I am, and I actually just um, received that um, because I had it sent to my supervisor and reviewed and approved, and I just sent it to you in an email. Oh. Okay. So you should, yeah. So after you can go ahead and check your your email and make sure that you received that. Okay. Um, let's see here. So on the 24th of June is when you um, visited the Five Guys? Yes. Okay. And so what happened when you arrived there? Uh, I went in there and I went to eat. And uh, I sat down to eat my food after ordering. And, uh, you know, the, the one of the, the people that was working there, the, a guy that was working there came over to my table and he asked me, could he speak to me? And he interrupted my meal, basically. And uh, he wanted to talk to me about his girlfriend. And his girlfriend also was working there with him that night. Uh, they were working together, making the burgers and stuff. And he said that uh, his girlfriend told him that I said something to her out on the street. And she didn't like it. And, uh, I, you know, he wanted to fight me. He, you know, he basically was trying to fight me uh, while I was trying to eat dinner about his girlfriend. And, you know, I didn't I didn't I never met her. I didn't know who she was. She basically lied to him and uh, or it was a mistaken identity or something. But, uh, you know, I stood up and, you know, I told him to go over to her and ask her what it was that I said to her and he, he refused to do it. He refused to go ask her. He didn't even know what I said to her. Like he, I asked him like, what did I say to her? And he was like, I don't know. And uh, you know, at that point I stood up and I asked him if he wanted to go outside and talk about it. And he said, yeah, and he wanted to go out there and fight me. But he, you know, he didn't, then, then the manager stepped in, whoever was in charge stepped in and they told, they asked me to leave. Uh, and I was trying to explain to them what he did by interrupting my meal and, you know, uh, talking to me about his girlfriend and trying to fight me. And they, they weren't trying to hear it. Like, they weren't trying to hear my side of the story. And they just told me to leave. And uh, and that was pretty much it. So I went back the next day and to get my money back because they made my burger wrong. And the, the manager was giving me an attitude. Whoever was there that day was giving me an attitude. They act like they didn't want to help me until uh you know i raised my voice and i basically was like yeah you know 
I don't owe you guys anything. And I asked him if he ever heard about the 40 acres and a mule. And then he went to the back and he ran and got my 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 uh my money for my refund. So uh it's an ongoing thing. You know, I see this guy that tried to fight me and everything. I see him walking he still works there. He still has a job working there. I contacted corporate on several occasions trying to get him fired. Uh because if I was in his situation and I did to him what he did to me or if I did that to somebody else who was sitting there eating their food and I went over them trying to fight them about my girlfriend or something, they would have probably, uh, I would have got fired and I probably would have got thrown in jail. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I was the only black person in there. I was the only black person in the restaurant at that time. And I feel like if I wasn't a black person... Uh, that he wouldn't have he wouldn't have had the the gall uh, to come over and uh, confront me like that you know I feel like maybe if I was another race you know whether it be Asian or Latino or if I was Caucasian or just another race I don't feel like he would have had the nerve to come over and address me like that and you know anybody else if they would have complained to his manager and said hey look this your your employee just came over here to my table and this is what he said to me and everything then th the manager would have fired the employee and probably called the cops because you can't be going up trying to fight people like that mm -hmm. and i just and, uh, when so were you able to to so after he was trying to to fight with you did you just leave the premises yeah i left uh i did what the manager asked me to do they asked me to leave, so so I left. And uh, I let them know that I wasn't pleased about the situation, that you know I wasn't happy with how I was treated, and, and I got in my car and left. You know, anybody, somebody else that was a more petty person, or you know somebody with a criminal type of a mind, they would have waited around until they got out of work and waited for that guy to, and waited for that guy in the parking lot until he came out of the building, and they probably would have fucked tried to fight him or something like that, but I just thought better of it, and I left the premises. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you said that you returned the next day? I returned the next day to get my re to get my refund, yes. Okay. And they, they told me not to come back to the restaurant. They told me that, they told me I was banned from the restaurant and not to come back, or they're going to call the cops on me. And was that from the manager? Yeah, that was the manager. His name is John. Yeah, I left. I never okay. went. I never. I never went back there after that because they told me not to come back. Mm -hmm. And when did you start making the complaints to the corporate office? Uh, the very next day. Okay. So was this the the next the next day after um, the twenty fourth? Yes. I, yeah. The, the day. Next the, the very next day after the twenty fourth, I contacted corporate. Okay, so that would have been the same day that you went to get the refund? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And did you happen to speak with anyone directly? Yeah, I spoke with somebody in the corporate office and I basically explained to them everything that I just explained to you. And I told them I told them that I wanted something to be done about it. And I wanted that guy to be fired. I didn't, you know, uh, I didn't think he should be working there anymore and stuff. But nobody took, nobody did anything about it. Like, they basically just swept it under the rug. But uh, I saw that guy again, the guy that, that tried to fight me. I saw him in passing because I see him around that, working around that area and stuff. Like, on his breaks and stuff. And he told me that he was, he apologized to me. He told me that he was wrong. And that that girl was lying to him, and that he, you know, he was sorry, 
and he said that five guys was talking about trying to do something to make it right with me, but they never contacted me. Okay. And do you remember the name of the person from the corporate office that you spoke with? Uh, no, I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember any names. Okay. I know I just contacted whoever answers the phone there. I, it's whoever answers the phone. Like, that's the person that I talked to. Okay. And did you say that you contacted them to complain multiple times? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And then none, none of these complaints have resulted any, in anything? No, they haven't. They haven't okay. con they haven't contacted me back one time. Okay. All right. So I have enough information here to go ahead and begin drafting the uh, the charge, and it's going to be um, the same process as the previous charge um, that I spoke with you about. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and draft this up, have it reviewed and approved, and then send it out to you in an email. Okay, and I also have this all on video. I have the incident at Five Guys. I think I, I, think I sent you a link in my original complaint mm -hmm. uh, to the video, but I have I also made a nut, like, because uh, somebody else on YouTube, like, they took my video of what happened, and they made a video out of it of their own and that's that's the one that I sent you a link to somebody else's video but that video has sent has since been taken down so I made a I made a separate complaint on the website for the five guys incident I made a separate complaint about this where I put the new link I made my own video a shorter version of what really happened cuz the the original video from when I was recording that day it was like an hour long video so I made like a five minute video out of just the moment when that when that actual confrontation happened and I sent that uh, through the website to the Arizona Attorney General again. Okay. So that you guys could see it. So that you guys could see it. Okay. So if you see like a separate complaint for me for the same for the same for basically for the same thing on the same date and everything then that that new complaint is where the link to that video is okay so okay. so it's visual evidence that you know this guy you know i was minding my own business and this guy came over there terrorizing me and uh you know harassing me about a girl who who he thought that i was talking to that i wasn't talking to that's basically what this is about and he basically was threatening my way of life you know, he was threatening threatening my freedom because if I were to if I would have reacted to him, and I would have attacked him, or if I would have if I would have uh, fought him or something like that, there's a possibility that I could have got in trouble for that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to risk that. Right. So okay. that's why I'm contacting the Arizona Attorney General because I want you guys are my last hope to get some straightening out of this and get. You know to get uh, this resolved uh, you know and to have something done uh, on my behalf to five guys you know to where they need to pay for this you know one way or another uh, they need to acknowledge that they made a mistake that night and that they treated the customer wrong and you know I want to sue them behind it because you know I'm suffering PTSD behind this like you know, literally, like I gotta watch that guy walk around his job when I'm when I'm working around there doing DoorDash and stuff. I gotta see this guy. He still has a job, but I know that if I would have did what he did, I wouldn't have a job if I was in his position. And it's not fair. You know what I'm saying? And also on top of that, I can't even go to Five Guys no more. If I get hungry and I want to go eat there and get a burger, I can't go in there and eat. If I want to do DoorDash from there and uh, you know, go make some money doing a DoorDash from there. I can't even go back there and work and do DoorDash because they banned me from the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is all wrong. Mm -hmm. okay. 
so yeah as soon as you guys give me the opportunity to bring my attorney in on things to where they can start negotiating you know some kind of settlement or something like that then I'm more than happy I already have their name and number okay you're welcome to retain an attorney at any time during the process no I mean they I have one uh they're ready they're they're ready and they're ready to go whenever you have work for them to do so you know it's just okay. I, it, do you need their name right now um i don't un unless they're they're going to be um because you said that they're not currently representing you no like no they they haven't worked they haven't worked any case for me there's no case for them to work but once you okay. got, I know that there comes a point during the process where uh, both sides get to mediate. And mm -hmm. my lawyer said that once we get to the mediation part, to bring her in on it, and she'll be the one that'll be mediating for me. Okay. Yeah, I would go ahead and, and wait till then. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for so, taking the time to speak with me, and I will be in touch with you. So, so just one last question. I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to ha keep you hanging, but about the Popeyes incident, the one that you sent me the email mm -hmm. about, uh, mm -hmm. do uh, it, are we getting close to that mediation point on that? Is that what that email is about? So this, so the email has the um, the electronic copy of the charge that I need you to sign and notarize and return to our office. Once we get it signed and notarized and it's returned to us, then it's considered filed, and then that's when the investigation opens. Okay. And then, yes, and then after the investigation opens is when um, when you would you would be given the, you and the, the other, um, the respondent, you get notice that the investigation has opened, and then there's um, then the investigation gets referred to mediation, and then someone from our, our mediation team contacts both sides to try and set that up. So, <laughs> so at some point is what you're telling me. At some point, there's going to come a mediation in the Popeye situation. There could. Now, both sides have to agree to mediation um, in order for that to take place. Okay, both sides have to agree. Okay, all right. Thank you for your help. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, have a great day. All right, you too. Thank right, you. Bye-bye. So there it goes. My conversation, <coughs> My conversation with the Arizona Attorney General about this uh, Five Guys incident with the guy trying to fight me over his girlfriend and then she also said that she sent me an email about the Popeyes incident with the manager at Popeyes talking all crazy to me and talking all gay to me and stuff like that I almost missed the damn call actually I did miss the call but I was able to call back and she answered the phone so hopefully I'll be able to get to the mediation point with five guys and bring my lawyer in and have them mediate me some money so I'm finna reply to this email right now and uh, get ready to take care of some other things that I gotta take care of thank you for watching Deadly Alliance TV and getting closer to the money over here that's all I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And smash that like button.